Okay, so the first method is going to be through command prompt. So that usually takes a little bit, a little long. So we're going to end up going to do and do this um, under the C drive. So we'll go to this PC or File Explorer, then this PC, local disk, uh, right click, new folder. We're going to name this folder mount. And within this folder, we're going to do a boot wim folder so we'll name this boot wim it's capital boot wim folder and then here is where we're going to transfer the copy of our boot wim file so f we have one here boo copy and we'll paste it here all right so now we have both of these files here um, and just to recap, this PC, local disk, we'll create it. We created the, the folder named mount, and we have the boot wim folder where we're mounting to, and then our, and then our boot wim file here. So now we're going to go ahead and open a command prompt window and run it as administrator. Okay. And for this, we're going to use this command, and I'll probably put it down on the, um, in a description afterwards because it is something pretty long to write to type it's going to be dism slash mount dash wim slash wim file and see so this so I'll, I'll i'll copy all this so this this is this is with uh where where this is going to mount this boot wim file to this folder so click enter and let it do its thing mount an image Okay, operation completely mounted, which means now we can go ahead and enter this bootwin file here, and we'll be able to uh, access all the files in the bootwin folder, uh, such as Windows 32, so we can add drivers and, and all that cool stuff. Okay, so now that uh, we've done that, we are going to unmount it, and to unmount it, um, we're going to continue with these same directories. So we will use this command copy and I'll put it on description as well and it's gonna be just slash unmount and all that stuff so we're gonna type commit if we want to commit to the changes that we've made and if we want to just discard it let's say we made a change that we don't like then for that we will type discard and it should uh, discard everything. And I'll show you both examples here. So we'll type commit again. Commit. And this will take some time. Okay, so since we did index one, uh, that's um, just remember if you're adding any drivers, you have to do the same thing with index two. And then this is this mounts successfully. So we'll uh, I'll show you what it looks like to remount it back up. And that way you can see the um, the discard how the discard looks. And then if we don't want to um, and again, if we don't want to commit to any changes, then we just have to type this and then replace the commit with discard. And then it'll just unmount everything without doing any changes. All right, so for the second option, we are going to actually use an application um, and for this, we're going to go to google.com and we're going to type in G image, G image X. And then the first option that comes up, that's going to be the one for this. We're going to go all the way down to where it says current versions and downloads under that. There should be one that includes 86 times 64 components and documentation. Click on that. All right. Once you get in here, you're, gonna, you're probably going to need like WinRAR or 7-Zip or something to get in there. And um, in your downloads, go inside and make sure you extract 
this folder here, G image X, extract all of this. So I ended up just extracting the 64 bit, this here. And that's it for my test. So this is where we in, we actually installed it. So we have our WIM file here, so the, the, the .wim file, and we have our mount area. So with this, it's very, very simple. We're just gonna double click on um, G image X times 64 because I have a 64 bit uh, operating system. And this is gonna pop up. From here, all we have to do is click on the mount tab, go to mount point, browse, and we're gonna look for the um, this file here. So, and that file for me is gonna be desktop under vid test A, and then mount, click OK, and then the source is going to be this uh, WIM file here. So browse, and it'll take you, this is the test too, so we're actually gonna go to this PC, uh, desktop, vid test A, and it's gonna be this WIM file here. So open, then make sure you click on read and write. Uh, uh, tap our little mark here. Make sure that's checked off and then click on mount. And then you just gotta wait for it to mount. Um, it does take a few seconds, uh, but it should it should work just fine. So let's wait until this is over. All right, image is mounted successfully. Yes, yeah, so we'll close this first tab off. We'll leave this open because we are currently still uh, working within this, within this. But if you notice, now this mount file has files in it which are the same files that are in here, except now we can edit these. So we can go to our sources, uh, we can go to program files here, and we can go to Windows, uh, System32, drivers, and all that. All right, so once you're done editing whatever you're gonna do in WinPE, in your uh, WIM file, the only thing that you need to do is bring back up that uh, application, the, the G image X, and then click on, here's the mount point, that's the file you're working on right now. And if you have more than one of these, it, they will all show up. So click on the mount point, make sure that's highlighted blue. Um, go to commit changes and then click on mount. Now we just have to wait for uh, the image to unmount and we can then copy our .win file over to our Windows PE or whatever we're gonna do with it. And this should, this should take a few seconds. All right, image is unmounted, so close. This is close. Now this is this is unmounted, so there's no files in here anymore. And now we can go ahead and copy this and add it on to whatever we need to add it on to. Okay, everybody, I hope this was helpful in, uh, in teaching you how to mount and unmount a win file, or a, yeah, a .win file um, for so you can edit your uh, Windows P and all that and I hope that the alternative also was helpful I honestly prefer the alternative it's a lot easier there's a lot uh, less risk of mistake and you can do it more continuously time and I, I, I it's, it's it's just a lot easier to work with just at least in my opinion um, so if this helped you make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button make sure that you uh, share this video because it can help other people out there and I will see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Peace out. Boop.